Hey there, welcome to another video. In this video, I'll show you how you can create extension only apps for Shopify. Extension only apps are a great way to create custom apps for your clients. You don't need a backend, you don't need to host it somewhere. Everything will be handled by Shopify. And there is a lot of features that you can use uh, to create an extension only app for the admin, for the checkout and a lot more. So in this video, you will learn everything and how you can get started. So let's start. Here is the documentation. The first thing you need to know is you have to install Shopify CLI. You can do that by just searching in the Shopify CLI and it's very easy to install with one command. After you do that, you are going to run Shopify app in it and it is going to initialize a new app for you. So let's, uh, let me open the item. And here I am in the Shopify app directory. I am going to run the Shopify come in and as I said you have to have the Shopify uh, um, CLI installed if you run Shopify version it should give you the version of the Shopify CLI that you are running mine is 3.59 at the time of recording this video so let's run the Shopify app in it to initialize our first app it is going to suggest a name of course for yours you will be more specific I will go with the default because this is just a tutorial and the second step is it is going to ask you uh, to select a template. If you go with the remix, it is going to give you the backend and everything. Since we are creating extension only, let's select the first one. Start with the extension. From here, it is going to uh, initialize your app and it is ready to go. The app is created. Let's just CD to the app, which is called a strategic business app, which is a nice name. And I am going to open this in my code editor. So I'll bring my code editor all the way here so we can see all the code. I will do some basic explanation of what has created and what are the important things. The first thing is this app um, um, .taml. This one is important and it is store all the configuration for your app. Currently it is empty because we have not deployed our app yet. The app is here but we don't have it yet in the dashboard. Once we deploy everything will be updated here. And the other thing is this extensions folder. We don't have any extensions, that's why it is empty. Now from here, I'll open the terminal directly in my code editor. I don't have to use the item for now, but if we find an issue, we will see. Cool, from here, let's run this command. If you open package.json, you have all this command. Let's deploy this first and see how it will uh, show in our partner dashboard. You can uh, come here and run npm run deploy. If you run this, um, it is going to select, uh, ask you to select the organization. For me, I will go with the second one. This is the test one that I'm using for my video series. In here, it is going to ask you, do you want to connect it to an existing app or do you want to create a new app? Since we have a new app, so let's select this one. And the app name, let's go with the default. And cool, that's all you need. And it also says, do you want to release a new extension? We don't have any, but I'll say yes. This is our app and this is the first version of it. Cool. Now let's go back to our um, um, partner dashboard. Let's go to apps and see if we do have the app here. Here we go. This is the app. This is the first step of creating the app. Now, how do you make it uh, specific to some store and an extension only? Let's install it on one of our store, which is this one. Currently, you can go to the apps. You can see we have three apps, but we don't have this one. If you go to a strategic business app, from here, you have to select distribution. When you select distribution, you cannot change it later. So you have two options, public and custom distribution. Public is where you publish it in the Shopify store, where everyone can install it, but the custom one is uh, you will select for a specific store. Let's go with the custom and we you cannot undo this one, okay? Now in here, enter the store domain. So this one is specific for some of our clients. Let's say this is the client that we have. You just copy the URL, come here and paste it. Now it also says allow multi-store. Some organization like this one might have multiple stores. So if I come here, from here you can go to different development store, okay? Do you want the user to install it on multiple store? If you check this one, they can do that. Let's generate the link and we'll just proceed with the default options. It is going to give us this link. This is the install link and it will expire. You can see the expiration. It will be in a few days. Cool. 
Now I'm going to enter this in the URL and it is going to ask me which store do you want to install it. Let's go with this one because that is the store uh, we selected. Let's move on. And in here it says this app is exclusive to your store. Once you install it, all data of this app will be available. One more thing that you have to note is this is a custom app and it will not appear in the search. Okay, in here you will not find it. You can only find it in the settings um, under the app and sales channel. In here, this is your app. Okay, we installed this app. Currently, it is not doing anything. It is empty. It doesn't have any extension. Now let's create an extension. From here, uh, let's just go to the overview. From here, you can read more about extensions, but let's see where we can create an extension. First of all, you have to understand what are like the extension that you can create. If I scroll down, these are types of extension you can create. Admin action, admin blocks, all of them have a lot of features. Like you can literally create an extension that works seamlessly with um, check Shopify product page who can um, add limitation like card validation directly in the admin without the need of an extra um, admin dashboard. An extension only app can do that with admin blocks, okay? Uh, check out UI, just create and check out UI extension Shopify functions. If you have a client who need a specific function which runs like Shopify script, you can just create that using extension only app. You don't have to create a, a separate app that you host somewhere. Let's create an uh, UI extension um, for the checkout. I will go here. In here, um, these are the comments that you need to run. Since we already created the extension, I do need to run this one. Uh, okay, but I can create an extension, right? So what are the, like if I come here, generate a new extension, it will give you um, all the comments you need for creating an extension. Let's go back to our code editor. And in here, you also have this generate command that we can use to generate um, a new extension. Let's run it. npm run generate and let's wait. Cool. You get an error, but it does not, one of the, the command is missing. So it should be generate uh, extension. Cool. I think I made um, typo, but let's confirm that it's extension, not extensions, because we will do it one at a time. The second thing is select the organization. I'll go with the second one. And it says, do you want to create a new app? No, I will connect it to existing app, which is this strategic um, business app. Uh, next, it is going to ask you what type of extension you want to create. For us, let's go with the checkout UI. There is a list that you can pick from like admin action, admin blocks, but let's go and search for the checkout UI and create it. What do you call it? I will just call it, um, banner message let's go and the next one is how do you want to code let's go with the javascript react and yep it did create the extension for me and the most important files are this extension.taml again it is store all the sitting all the configuration we have more videos about this on the channel and how you can customize add more sitting you can check them out but for now the other file is checkout.jsx. This is where you can customize it. I'm not going to change anything except for this custom banner message, which we just put here. And let's just put an exclamation mark here. Let's save it for now and let's deploy this. Once you deploy it, it should be available on that store, okay? npm run deploy. Let's see what do we get. This is our extension. You normally have to commit all your changes, but it's okay for now. And it also says that, do you want to um, deploy this configuration? Always say yes, whatever you have in the configuration will be a sync with what you have in the live app. Here you have one extension. Let's say, yes, we are going to release a new version and you might get an error. Uh, if you search this error, I'm not going to skip and say, okay, I'm going to fix this error. This is really because this is a new computer and if you see the same problem, I think this is because of my VS Code. A lot of people suggested this is what you, how you can fix it. Remove the NPM package and then come back and run NPM install and it should fix it. For me, it did, it did not work. I removed that and it did not work. The solution for, for me was very simple. I just um, opened the iTerm and did it from here. NPM run deploy. 
if I run it from here, let's see if we get the same error because we are in the same directory, okay? npm run deploy, yes, I want to create a new extension. Do you see we do not get any error? I think this was because of the VS Code. Sometimes you have to try different things, but yeah, it works just fine. Cool. Now let's clear everything and let's go to the app again. This is our store. I'll go to the setting, uh, which is the admin setting. Just move myself, click the setting. From here, you will go to checkout. Since we created checkout UI, click customize. Uh, this option should be available, okay? From the bottom, you see app block here, select it, and this is the banner that we have. You can see it is from the strategic uh, business app. You add it, it is going to add it here. Cool, that is the extension that you have. You can customize it, add more sitting here, but that is for a separate video. For now, this is how you can um, create an extension only app. And now you don't need a backend, you don't need to store it somewhere, and yeah, everything will be here. If you wanna create more extensions, just check out the documentation on admin uh, options or customer accounts which are important, Shopify flow and everything else. I am going to create more videos about each of them, so make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss them out. Yep, I hope this has been informative. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.